Oh, hello there. It's me, Egil, Egil Torsen. Today we're going to do a historical video on Norwich and East Anglia in general. So, see you down, have something nice to drink and uh, just relax. Carry on and we'll tell you a few bits and pieces. So, I'm going to sit down too. Ah, now we'll begin. Hello there. That's me once again. So, Norwich, what do we know about it? Well, those of you who are um, Alan Partridge fans, uh, we know quite a bit. It features in his uh, ex in Alan Partridge's series, and uh, it's a great thing too. But, on a serious note, what do we really know? Well, East Anglia was the first... Uh, area to fall to the Vikings. It became a city in 1094. This left, uh, this filled the vacuum that the Romans left in 450. Between that time, we have what historians call the Romano-British. Some people call it the Age of Arthur. Well, that's neither here nor there. That's for you to decide. It sits on the River Wensum. Now. I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to read it from here. Oh, what's on the floor? So, the Vikings settled there in Norwich in the 880s. And by the year 1000, Norwich was a mix of uh, Anglo Saxons and Norse and part of a newly. Um, Unified England. The reign of Ethelred the Unready uh, was attacked by King Swain of Denmark in 1004 when they uh, uh, sailed up the river Wensum and burnt and ravaged the borough of, Nor of Norwich. These are <laughs> just thumbnail sketches and I'm, I'm reading from the paper because I want to get it right. So now we come to Norfolk, uh, 840, the invasion of East Anglia, 870, the death of King Edmund as the Danes conquer East Anglia. 917, Edward the Elder recaptures East Anglia. 924, Athelstan becomes King of England. That is a very significant thing. Up until then, there were principalities or little areas like Mercia, uh, Dariada, East Anglia, of course, and uh, Northumbria. Athelstan united them, so it became England. In 925 um, is the earliest mention of uh, Norwich on coins. It's important when you mint coins, as we do in Derby, um, that uh, it shows authority, that you have control over it. You have the king or the leader on that, and the name of the money are on the reverse as the name of where it's struck. And um, 1970 was the first known um, reference in writing to Norwich. Uh, it's the Liber Eliensis, for those of you who have a historical bent. And in 1004, Norwich first mentioned in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle as King Swain uh, burned Norwich and captured the area. That is a very brief thumbnail sketch. Uh, we will be doing more on this later uh, in more detail, but it's just a bit to give you a taster, as it were. And if you know more about it, then please drop us a comment. Uh, which will be hashtag uh, Norwich Vikings hashtag Norwich Vikings you heard it from Brady first but leave us a comment and if you have any additional information because we're learning you know we're not the fount of knowledge of everything we've had to research this and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have leave us a comment we will get back to you as soon as possible and Till we meet again. Bye.